Good morning. So what is the difference between a scrap yard and metal recycling? Well, we're going to find out this morning. We are here in St. Catharines at AIM Recycling. AIM Recycling. It's recycling, right, Umberto? You got it. All that's right, a, that's Umberto. That's exactly what it is. It's exactly what it is. You are the supervisor here, and you're going to introduce us to a whole way of, I guess, recycling metal, but again, not a scrap yard, right? Exactly. And what do people usually think when they think scrap yard? Right? Rough, tough, loud, scary, scary. intimidating. Yes. And guess what? That's not AIM. It's right? not AIM. This is a family-friendly environment where we have paved yards, no mud. We make sure that we take the stigma of scrap recycling out of the equation and we make it as easy as possible for anyone that could come and scrap with AIM. Okay, so when you say anyone, so just someone like myself. Right. So I have stuff at home, I could come here, and then what happens, we're watching a car now, he's going into an inbound lane. Right. What's, what's going on right now? So that would be, say, me in a car. Exactly. Okay, what, what's happening right now? So as simple as it could possibly get. So once the customer does drive over to scale, all they do is they push the intercom and they have a, a conversation with the scale clerk, which the first question they ask is, what do you have? And then uh, obviously the answer is gonna be, we have scrap metal. And what we do is we direct you to the right place. Someone's gonna meet you over at the pile and tell you exactly where to offload. And we also help people offload the scrap. Now I noticed that the, the cars are moving quite quickly. What's right. the difference of this opposed to other places? So as you can see, we do have our scales that are covered, protected from the elements, which is a huge advantage. Uh, one thing that people uh, love using AIM is that we take care of everything that's on site. So our scales, an important uh, aspect of our business you know no rain no snow we don't want anything interfering with people's weights um, you know the other thing we have an inbound and an outbound scale so there's no bog traffic you know there's an easy flow into the yard you don't have anyone waiting to get out because they have their own personalized scale where they can just go out from right. and same thing for the inbound scale wow well i have noticed it's very clean we're going to take a look a little later on at the yard out back are you putting me to work you know what? I think we got to do it. All right, I, I, I we got to do it, Alberto. Okay. I got to show you what AIM's really all about. All right, we're going to do that coming up on Morning Live. We are here at AIM Recycling in St. Catharines. We'll be back. Okay. Good morning. I'm a good driver, right, Umberto? <laughs> You're fantastic. Don't you worry. You got to get close to the intercom. Okay, close to the intercom. <laughs> Our viewers wondering, what is Shelly doing? Who's that guy in the truck with her? Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> we are at AIM Recycling in St. Catharines, and I have a load of some metal. This is not a scrapyard, folks. This is a metal recycling plant? Metal facility? recycling facility. Facility. He likes facility. I'm going to put this baby in park because I have to kind of stretch over here. Yeah, so Umberto's telling me I have to take my seatbelt off. I'm going to push this intercom here at AIM Recycling in St. Catharines. Hello. Good morning. Welcome to AIM Recycling St. Catharines. What kind of materials do you have for us today? What do we have, Umberto? Let's tell them scrap metal. Scrap metal. Sounds good. What I'm going to get you to do is drive forward to bunk A, and Dom, our site manager, is going to help you unload that. All right. We will do that. Thank you. How easy was that? That was so easy. Easy. Okay, Umberto, while I'm driving over to Bunker A, right, which is you right tell over. us more about this whole process. What is happening here? So basically now we're getting directed to Bunker A where we have our site manager, Dominic, that's going to guide us in the process on A, offloading the metal in the right bunker, and B, if there's any metal that's more valuable where we could possibly upgrade and make more money off it. So this, again, is for people, the average Joe like me, the average Shelly, can just come here and bring in their metal for right, recycling, right. right? You know, we really want to remove that intimidating factor when it comes to scrap metal recycling. Anyone can scrap, anyone can redeem their metal for money, and that's what AIM does uh, better than anyone else. Well, and I see it's really clean here, Umberto. The yard is spotless, and you'd think with all this scrap metal, There'd be pieces of stuff everywhere, but it's not. There's no nails, no screws. It's all concrete. And guess what? There's no mud, right? So if it rains, you're on concrete. Oh. That's super exciting. It's what AIM's all about. You know, we're extremely innovative. We make sure that we provide the best 
quality facility for our customers. All right, well, I feel uh, very comfortable here, very friendly, you guys are great. Coming up, we're gonna have more of the customer experience here at AIM Recycling in St. Catharines. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> There goes a barbecue. I have to speak loud. <laughs> there goes a part of a fan and a microwave. We're and, at and eight. And Shelly, these are typical household items. They that are. Anyone has kicking around in their house. They are. And where are we? AIM Recycling in St. Catharines. Umberto Supervisor Dominic got the arms. You got the smile. He's throwing the stuff off the truck. Now, I drove this truck in earlier morning live in case you missed it. Just a random person. Average Joe, like myself, coming into this friendly place, very clean, bringing in some metal to be recycled. So tell us what, what's happening and what kind of stuff can you bring in? You could bring anything. Like if you think about what do you have at home, right? In your shed, in your basement, household appliances, bikes, barbecues. You know, everyone exchanges their electronics every couple of years. Sure. They're always kicking around. Here at AIM, we take all types of metal, we recycle everything that has a metallic content. So what you just dropped off was a barbecue, a microwave, and a bike. Mm -hmm. But as you can see here, inside, you also have some higher value items. You got aluminum car wheels, and then you got some copper pipe. Oh, so wow. that stuff would go inside through our drive through where you can get paid a lot more money for that scrap, which we weigh uh, individually, and we break it down so that you can maximize your dollar here at AIM. Okay, so... Dominic or someone like yourself would be around to help people understand this. So they have a truck full of stuff and okay, where do, where do things go? And is that what you do, you're that's around? That's exactly it. We make sure that we have someone here at our piles to instruct, to show people the process and best of all, educate people. Mm -hmm. What is that big crane doing over there? So that crane's here to load the different trucks uh, that come in. So he loads uh, trucks that come in with um, different types of metal that go into a mill for recycling and for remelting. Oh, wow. And again, this is a very clean place. I, I am very impressed with the fact that you have all of this metal around. And if you just walk out in this direction where your car would be getting back into your car, you could see it's, it's not messy at all. And, and that is the best part, right? Customers love uh, how clean our yards are, how paved they are, so there's no mud no nails, we're always uh, housekeeping and maintaining the yard to the best of our ability to make the customer experience the best they've ever had. The other thing I liked is how quick it was to come in. You know, sometimes you think, oh, do I have to wait in line? How long am I gonna be waiting? We were in, weighed, and here we are. I totally agree, and that's what the double scales do for us, right? You got a flow going in, a flow going out, and there's usually no wait, and again, we, we take a lot of pride in what we do. All right, well, we're going to head inside for our next segment. We're here at AIM Recycling in St. Catharines. All and right. we'll be back. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, we're at AIM Recycling going inside a warehouse now. We dropped off some metal. Umberto here for the ride. Umberto. What am I doing? Where am I going? What's happening next? What's this next step? It's the best part. So we're going through our drive through which is called our non-ferrous drive through And this is where we recycle the copper, brass, aluminum, lead, zinc. Okay, let's get out and let's figure this out. So what's happening here? So next step is we're going to take our non-ferrous metals, we're going to put it on the scale, and we're going to weigh everything individually. So follow me. Okay, and are these the metals that you said that might be a little bit more worth something? More value, right? More value, okay. You know. Should I be taking one of these? I got it. Okay. You know, and, and we got... And Dominic you have a lot of staff around, I've here. noticed, helping. Again, everything's clean here at AIM Recycling. Not just a scrapyard, but so much more. I'm learning, I'm learning. <laughs> okay, so we're inside. Again, there's specific things that were not dropped off outside. They wanted us to come in on a scale here, more value. And then what happens? So they're just weighed and is this the process? So everything's in the system. Your information's all in there. So Dominic's gonna weigh your aluminum car wheels. Okay. So and once he gives weighing. me the thumbs up, I'll pull the car wheels out and we'll put your copper pipe on the scale for weighing. This is pretty fast. It is, it is, it is. 
And what do you like doing? Uh, why, what, what do you like the most about working here and doing You know this? what? Scrap is exciting. It, it's always changing. Uh, there's different commodities that come into play day in and day out, so you don't get bored. It's yeah. not the same thing every day. It's not repetitive. So I, I get a rush out of it. I enjoy doing it. And mm. you know, it's something that I've been doing for about 13 years now and enjoy every day. And what you guys uh, keep saying is that you want people just to feel comfortable, that they can come here, that a scrap yard, and it's not a scrap yard, but a metal, metal recycling facility is not a scary place. It's not, as you can see, right? It's a state-of-the-art facility. You know, we wanted to make it as friendly and as easy for anyone to use. So take away that stigma of the old recycling yard with all the noise and all the banging and the crushing, mm -hmm. and that's not what AIM's about. We really want to create that friendly, family environment where anyone can scrap with us. And how many days a week are you open? We're open six days a week. Okay. So Okay. Open on Saturdays, which is huge. Yeah, uh, a I lot of scrapyards are not open Saturdays, oh, good. but AIM takes pride in staying open as many days as possible to serve the public. Okay, so how do we wrap up this whole process now? What happens? Everything's weighed. Right. I'm done. What do I do? Do I get a handshake? It's the best part. What's the best part? Now you get paid. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. We all like that on Morning Live, don't we? Well, thank you so much, Umberto, Dominic, uh, uh, Corey. Everybody's been fantastic here at AIM Recycling in St. Catharines. And you know what? I tell you, it is a friendly place. <laughs>